I ordered another copy of my John Trudell poetry book. And the original that I had, um, I took with me to Tucson, Arizona over the summer. And uh, I read some poems down at Fort Huachuca and at the Cochise Stronghold. And I ended up leaving my copy with my friend uh, Drew there who hosted us um, because I thought it would be meaningful for herbs. But um, I ended up getting another copy. And so I thought what I might try to do is, you know, every few days or so I would read a poem uh, from the book and um, share it with you. And hopefully it will re be, it'll resonate and, um, you know, we'll just be connected over the poems. And because I think John Trudell, I've, I've heard from a lot of people that his, his words, um, which he, he often spoke of coming through his, his wife, Tina, um, who was, was killed in, a, in an arson in a fire uh, with, her, with their children and her mother, um, that the lines came through her to him um, in these poems. And so I think for the two of them, it would be nice to share their words with you all. So this is the first one. It's called Listening. And I'll just read this now. Listening. I was listening to the voices of life chanting in unison, carry on the struggle, the generations surge together in resistance to meet the reality of power. Mother Earth embraces her children in natural beauty to last beyond oppressors' brutality. As the butterfly floats into life we are the spirit of natural life, which is forever. The power of understanding real connections to spirit is meaning our resistance, our struggle. It is not sacrifice lost. It is natural energy properly used. So that's listening and that's my first poem, hopefully in a series. So. Um, Happy winter to you and thanks for listening.